guys. Just doing another video on the little chickies while I've got them out. Last night we had an incident in the hen house. I heard this loud noise so I ran out there and a big carpet snake had my favourite chicken. So we got the chickens out and the snake couldn't live because it would have got more of my chickens. But now I'm going to buy a snake proof hen house. <laughs> Oh, and another lovely news, that duck right there got his leg caught in the fence while I was away with my grandmother. I don't know how long he was caught, but he kind of walks on it now, much better than yesterday, which is good. But he usually just sits and rests it. A little bit of good news, the last two days I've been finding duck eggs. They just lay them in the middle of the yard, leave them there, but it's great. They've started to lay. <laughs> All my chickens are sleeping in that catcher right there, and the snake was in there with them. I didn't want to kill a snake, I actually like snakes, but we kind of had to die because isn't he lovely? It's so pretty. <laughs> So this is a beautiful carpet snake, a massive one too, I've not seen one this big around here. Like it's five feet, nope, six feet, wow. But yes, it's dead. Oh and something funny, <laughs> right when we got rid of that snake. My cat was playing with this one. <laughs> and I try to tell people that Australia is not dangerous. So it's only a tiny little one, but the cat wouldn't leave it alone and we didn't know if it was a venomous brown snake or just a tree snake, so we had to kill this one too, so three deaths in one night. Lovely. But yes, I was going to make a better hen house, but I don't trust myself to make it safe enough anymore, so I'm just going to go onto eBay and buy one that's big enough for 
all these guys and that way I can sleep at night knowing they're not going to get picked off one by one. <sighs> okay, bye guys.